Hello, this is Jilly here from FunCraftsToDoAtHome.com. Today's video is about turning trash into something flash. I'll be making this gorgeous pendant from cereal box card. So let's go. First you need to condition the cardboard with two coats of PVA glue all over. This makes the cardboard very strong and durable. You need to put two coats on on the front and the back and let it dry thoroughly before you use the card. You can use a window squeegee or a credit card to spread the glue. And then when it's dry, um, here's, here's an, another one that I did earlier, a couple of coats, very strong. So then you need to take a two inch circular punch and punch out three circles and now you need to use some more PVA glue to glue these circles together to form your pendant base. You don't need loads of glue, just very 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 thin coats and once you've glued all three while the cardboard is still wet you need to mould it round something like a, a wooden rolling pin and fasten with a rubber band. Next, you need to take some very strong paper. I've used this handmade paper from Cardi. And you need to cut two more circles with your two inch circular punch. Now these two circles are going to form the backing of your pendant. So when the cardboard base is dry, take it off and you will see the PVA glue has made this as solid as wood. So the two circles that you cut from the very strong paper you're going to use them to make a backing with a channel through the back where you can thread your elastic. Now I haven't gone mad. I use these very skinny birthday cake candles that I got from Tiger in the UK. I don't know if they still have them. But I bought several packets and um, I reuse each piece several times. So they do last a long time. You need to cut a length just to go across the back of the paper that you punched out. And what we're going to do now is stick these two pieces of paper together with the skinny candle in between. So if you just copy what I'm doing here, you're pushing down. Use your thumbnails to push down to make a channel through and this is why you need strong paper, because you need the, the paper to hold its shape. So s stick these together. A again, only use a very, very, very thin layer of glue. And obviously it won't stick to the wax, which is why we use wax, or one of the reasons why we use wax. This does take some time to do. Because you need to work the paper around the wax and just keep moulding it. You will see that the paper does kind of resist a bit sticking sticking to each other. So you, you just have to really lovingly mould this and put just put some time into getting it right. Because the results that you get are really worth the effort that you put in. And the next thing you need to do is stick the, the two pieces of strong paper that you've just stuck together with the wax. You need to fit that into the back of the cardboard pendant base. And... Spend some time 
going over the, the edges of the pendant with some PVA glue, any teeny gaps that have appeared if the paper is you know not fully stuck down or whatever, just spend some time going around the edge with PVA glue to neaten this up and so you, you get the best edge that you can possibly get because you will see this edge even though we are going to paint the whole thing before we put the design on it does give you a smoother base on which to paint so spend some time on that and when you've finished putting the glue on I suggest using these miniature bulldog clips to hold the backing paper in nice and tight to the pendant base just where the wax goes through and then leave that to dry. Now meanwhile you need to think about your design. So this one is um, a mandala from the colouring book coloured by uh, Jen Lynch. It was one of my own designs but I decided not to use that one. Now to get the resin domes onto circular designs evenly it can be quite difficult so I have made this template which I hold down onto the table with double sided glue tape which I'm putting on here now. All this is is three layers of um, cornflake box that I have stapled together um, with with um, a hole punched in with, with the two inch circular punch. Also have put double sided tape onto the back of my design, stuck that down to the table and now I am going to put the template on top and just push that down so that sticks to the table too with the removable glue tape. It just makes it a bit easier to get your resin dome onto the design, get it centrally placed, because I do find it quite difficult sometimes to get these domes on that that are centered so that you haven't got any you know overlapping one edge or something that you don't want. But if you do, if you make one of these templates and put some removable glue tape on the back, just don't push it down onto the table as hard as I did because um, you'll see when I take up <laughs> the design I did tear the back a bit. But that, that doesn't matter because it's going to be stuck down onto the pendant. See that gorgeous sheen that you get, it's, I love these resin domes, it's much easier than actually pouring resin onto your design. I have got links on my blog post about this to, as to where, how you can get these resin domes. So the next thing is to paint your whole, paint the entire, well you don't have to paint the entire pendant base. I chose to paint the entire base even though a design is going to be stuck onto the front of it. You really only need to paint the back and the sides. But being very, very slightly OCD with my crafts, <laughs> I quite like to paint the whole thing. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. But I would find it really difficult not to paint the whole thing. It would bug me crazy. Pay special attention to the back and the sides because they're the parts that you are still going to be seeing. Make sure you cover just in there where the candle goes through. I mean obviously we're not going to be leaving the candle in, you'll see in a moment. So I wanted to put a nice glaze on this whole pendant well actually I didn't put the glaze on the front 
but the back and the sides need a couple of coats of glaze and I like to use glossy accents I find that to be the, the most durable shiniest you can see there it looks there's a nice sheen on there here comes the moment when we take the wax out of the channel that we've made in the back so use your heat gun you don't need to use put much heat on there and the wax just pulls out don't throw your wax away you can reuse it and just trim off any bits that need to be trimmed off just neaten things up a bit so we're ready to put the design on now but first I always make sure that the channel has worked and that you can get the elastic through because there would be nothing worse than getting your design onto the front and then finding that there was a problem with the channel. There usually isn't, but it's best to make sure. So just try that out and then pull the elastic out again because otherwise it will get in the way. And now you're ready to put your design on the front. So I attached mine with double-sided sticky tape which I put on the back of the design which you'll see in a moment. I do love using double-sided sticky tape whenever I can because it's quicker. I haven't got to wait around for glue to dry. Um, I guess there are other ways that you could do this and I will be asking you at the end of the video I will be asking you for your thoughts on something that happened. Anyway, for the time being I have used double sided tape and I'm fitting the design and the resin sticker to the front of the pendant blank. There is no easy way to get this on centrally. You just have to be really careful because you don't want to go and ruin this at this stage after all that work. And this does come much easier with practice and I have to say it's much easier to get this design on centrally than it is to get the resin sticker onto the design in the first place and I think it's got something to do with the fact that it's curved I don't know I just find it easier and you can see that there are there's there's bits of white around the edge here um, it's the edge of the design is is white now you can either um, go around this with a with a sharpie marker before you put it onto the pendant or I prefer to do it after I've put it onto the pendant because then you can sort of go around the entire edge and touch up any places where um, there's any marks or any white showing. I find the Sharpie markers are brilliant for finishing off your crafts and just, you know, giving it that finished look. So, there you have a pendant trash to flash. You'd never believe that this was made from a cereal box, a cereal box card. It's all in using PVA glue to strengthen the card in the first place and then using layers. So, unfortunately, this wasn't quite the happy ending that I had hoped for. A couple of days after I had finished this, I, I noticed it. this was laying on my craft room table and the edges had come unstuck because these resin domes are very strong and it had obviously been resisting being bent round the cardboard base. So what I had to do was take the design off completely and add another layer of double-sided tape to the actual pendant base, which I probably could have done this before um, and wouldn't have had this problem. However, 
what I would like to ask viewers is, do you have any ideas as to how I could have stuck the design with the resin um, dome on the top to the pendant base without having the problem that I ended up with, i.e. it coming away at the edges. And if anyone has any ideas how how I could have done this better, please do leave me a comment and tell me what your ideas are. Um, I know lots and lots of people use glue guns on their projects, and perhaps I should have used hot glue gun. I'm not brilliant with a glue gun, and I do tend to sort of shy away from the use of glue guns, but maybe it would have been better for this project to use a glue, a glue gun. Let me know what you think, because even after I had put this on with a double-sided tape, um, although it did stay in place, it's been a couple of days now, and it's still fine, um, I did end up with this horrible... Um, you could see the glue tape where I had overlapped where it actually needed to be, and I had to go round it with a scalpel and trim away all the bits of um, double-sided sticky tape that were, sh were showing after I had put the dome on. Um, I mean, it was fine in the end, because although I was having trouble sort of, you know, you can see here what I'm talking about, you know, there's this edge of sticky tape... I did go round with a scalpel and managed to trim it all off and then I finished touching it up with a Sharpie marker again and it's absolutely fine. I would wear this now with no problem. It's very neat and tidied up. So, any ideas that you have about sticking the design on, please do let me know. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.